Welcome, welcome back. If I if I now to sing meet welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. back. Yeah. Yeah. So welcome back guys. Yesterday we'll be talking about an interesting topic and the topic is women empowerment as a society development, development. and we have a day doing amida in the building yeah. and she is an op a producer mm -hmm. and an entrepreneur they gave her different titles but she decided to pick this one <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so <laughs> i don't want people to come after me she is an entrepreneur an OAP and also a producer. producer. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good to be here. Being here. Nice to I meet know. you. I'm fine. Very well. How excited are you to be here? Ah, well, feels good. It's yeah. part of my job, so yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> so today we'll be talking about um, women empowerment as a society development. I'm going to go straight to vocational skills and education. Do you think um, vocational skills and education is enough for women to be part of society development? Oh yeah, I, I really agree because um, back in the days when we had our forefathers and mothers getting married, you remember that in the 20th century, after you're married to your husband, you don't have the opportunity to do whatsoever, maybe go outside. Mm -hmm. The highest they can do for you is open a shop for you in front of your husband's house. Why are you smiling, princess? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so I think with education and empowerment is a good start for women. And if you look at our society at the moment, we don't have enough women, but we are trying. To start with, um, let's go into um, the leadership, in terms of leadership. So let's say, for instance, I think um, at the moment we have um, 47 ministers uh, in general in Nigeria we have just eight women mm -hmm. and um, I think the last administration we had um, seven women at 53 if I did not make that mistake with my calculation and with um, our lawmakers that's the Senate yeah. I think the senators we have 190 at the moment we have three oh, sorry 109 yes and we have three women last administration we had seven now we have three. Yeah, it is low. low. The um, House of Representatives, um, I think there are 360, and we have, yeah. okay, that's a bit, little bit higher. Yeah. We have, we had 13 before, now we have 17. If women are given the opportunity to be educated, first and foremost, education. And education is not having a PGD, having a PhD. As far as you have the knowledge of, I tell people that I train, you have schools at you have maybe um, a professional course like a diploma maybe maximum you have is national diploma the thing you need to do is you're different from someone that has ssc already yeah, okay. because you have the national diploma you have the experience yeah. and you, you will be surprised that in most cases what you study is not what you later do yeah, <laughs> you study here. you study <laughs> mass <Especially here. laughs> for instance and you're a producer you're a presenter, okay, maybe that does a little bit. And then yeah, you study mass com yeah. and you are a selling. Banker. Yes, you work in a bank. Yeah. Oh no, not even a not banker. Even a bank. You're selling, you're selling clothes yes. yeah, on social media. If you have this education, you know how to balance the equation. There's a difference between you and the pepper seller in the market. Yes, pepper seller. You can package your pepper. Yeah, you can, through that, maybe you're a pepper seller. You cook steel for people, soups. You deliver to their house. It's education. Is you've advanced yourself, advanced yourself right. compared to back in the days where your husband would tell you you're a full housewife. Now you're a full housewife, but you can sell in your husband's house mm. on social media. Mm -hmm. So education is helping women with vocational training. Okay, so I am married. I have BSc. My husband has married me. Has paid my bride price. Yes, he owned me. I am in the house. Once my kid go to school, what am I doing for myself? Mm -hmm. Am I just sleeping? Am I just sleeping up? and waking up? Yeah. You make, and then before you know it, when your husband knows that, okay, this is my wife, she's doing this, he will support you mm -hmm. directly or indirectly. Yeah, okay. Because you have maybe one of his friends that watches or sees you on social media say, ah, Mr. Okunle, that your wife, at the same for social media, I beg support them. She's doing a lot of things. She's doing a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> and before you know it, the child, this lady that her children trended on um, trended on MRI's news, okay. they were never available. 
but the children were always the kids, that were the, the, kids, kids. the no the couple yeah. themselves the parents they were never yeah. available oh, really? to to look after the kids but she said that day she was just around and the kids started all their drama yeah. and she just felt okay let me just record, record this them. thing and then she recorded she posted it and before we knew it people were like wow 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 and now she she's able to open a page for our children and before you know it she has empowered herself she has empowered our children and people would ask for more like please i want to see my child i want to and before you know it they're passing the message to other women that are there that don't have the experience of what do i want to do at the moment am i going to just sit in the house and tie up and fold my legs <laughs> and, my leg. and i told my husband to come at night and say um Sweetheart, honey, please, I want to buy matches, and that's why I didn't cook since morning. Yeah. You don't have to wait for your husband to do all those so, things. So if women are given the opportunity to do all these things, I want to believe it's a good way to start. So education, vocational skill, yeah, women, please good do it. Them, right? <laughs> so... Um, when you said you're talking about vocational skills and all of Education, that, so yeah. what are what are those initiatives, you know, or what are those vocational skills women should look at, you know, women all over the world, the women in Nigeria. Let's even start with our country, women in Nigeria. What are some of these vocational skills women should look at instead of just sitting at home, like you said, and you have to wait for your husband before you buy matches? skills that they can learn without even doing too much, so much. or breaking the bank or yeah. just. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm going to start with Yoruba adage that says, "Atelo when it can turn it that your palm it's doesn't deceive. <laughs> <laughs> it means your palm doesn't deceive you. So to start with, there is nothing you can. I started as far back as um, 2014, and I didn't have enough. I didn't have any money to start any vocational skills. To God be the glory, I've had people in my school. At least four students that have traveled abroad. I have a guy who, is, who was actually an HR in a company and he told himself, I don't want to work for anyone. I want to travel abroad. What can I do? As low as, I'm not going to see my price at the moment. So. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. I mean, to train. Yes. yes. I started my, my vocational training with 2,000. I collect 2,000 for people. A lot of people gave me a backlash. Do you know what you're doing? 2,000. You need to learn how to enter into the market system. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, know your environment. True that. These are my target audience. Yeah. The woman, what age category? Is it from age 16 or age 18, 18 or 40? When you understand your environment first, mm -hmm. you'll understand your target audience. Who are your target audience? Can they afford yeah. well, I'm giving out 100K? No, they can't. Okay, let me break it down back. Can they afford... 10,000. Okay, yes, they can afford 10,000. When you, and then trust, consistency. You are consistent with what you are giving. They know it is 10,000. They know they cannot get that 10,000 naira elsewhere. People will come and say 10,000. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to learn. You can't do anything. But the quality, your market will sell you. When they know that, no, this person collecting 10,000 naira will teach me more than someone that would, that would sell or like train me at hundred thousand. People will rush. Yeah. Before you know it, you increase your money from ten thousand. No, I'm no longer collecting ten thousand, twenty K. They will come because of quality yeah. and not quantity. So you don't need to break the bank. As a woman, I want to start this skill. I don't have money. The first thing is trust. People need to trust you. That okay. I want to sell this sorry. <laughs> I want to sell this to people and let's say the retail price or the cost price is 500 and she's selling for 1000 because she wants to make 500 no i'm not going to sell mine 1000 i'll sell it 600 if i know it pays me at 600 naira. so when you buy from me and then you know 600 ah, it's the same quality it's 1000 you will want to buy from me yeah. at 1000 because you trust me I'm entering into the market system already. And then 600, you tell your friend, you tell your friend. Before you know it, she would also have to look at, okay, what am I doing good? Okay, she's selling 600. I can make 100 naira and still live my life. And then still make ends meet. You're not making profit at the moment. Yes, loss. Loss is one thing you should always have at the back of your mind when you're having or doing a business. You will lose. Yes. Sometimes I go into my room and... I can't pay my staff or maybe I'm not making profit. 
and I cry. It's not as if people are doing me. You know, be jazz. <laughs> it's not jazz. All you need to do is re-strategize. Okay. Go back to your drawing board and see what am I doing best? What am I not doing best? Okay, I didn't do this right. Cancel. Start afresh. And there's no big deal in starting afresh. Yes. Right. I want yes. to learn something. I didn't get it well. Okay, I didn't do it well this time. Tear the paper. Start afresh. It's not the end of the world. Right. You keep trying. People from Kakitele, when you hear a story, she tell you. I started. There was a time when I watched one of her interview, and then she said, "Yeah, when she started, Jen, um, no, not Jennifer. I need to know. Yeah. That was the movie she started yeah. with. She said that there was a point in her life when she went down, and she nobody was, knew her. Yeah, and then she well. came back with um, Jennifer. Jennifer's no, diary. not Jennifer's diary. Um, Jennifer, Jennifer, the real Jennifer. The real. Jennifer. The real she did yes. part one, part two, part yes. three, part four. Before she started Jennifer's diary. Mo Abudu has a story. Alakija has a story. Yeah. Like there are top women that are in limelight. Um, we had um, Dora Kuyili, mm -hmm. May, late Doc, Dora Kuyili. She was the NAFDAQ um, um, DG, DG mm -hmm. for 20, was it 2001 to 2008? And then you will look at it. She was a woman and she was able to do a lot of things as a woman. That time we didn't have the opportunity to say, okay. It was trending sometimes last month that we had fake, fake product. Okay. Then there was nothing like fake product. When she says, this wow. is fake, this is fake. True. And that thing stood by because now be when you buy a product, you can scan for the code and know if it is an original, original or if it is fake. Yeah. We have um, um, our former Minister of Finance, 2011, Okonjo okay. uh, At the moment, she's the DG of World okay. Trade Organization since 2021 she never had bad record and for a woman to be at that pace a woman once she gets pregnant she has the feeling of okay i'm go i'm carrying a human i'm going to carry that human for another eight to nine months and then she's able to after giving birth try to take care of that child and then before you know it put that child through one year that child, six months, that child starts to eat food, maybe pop, custard and the likes, at one year, two years, go to daycare and everything. The mother is the first person to know what the child is going to become before the father. I'm not saying the fathers are not trying. True that. Don't come after me, once again. <laughs> but <laughs> True that. the mother knows that, okay, this child is going to become a pilot and she's going to put the child through. The father will now say, no, I don't want my child to become a pilot. I want my child to become a broadcaster. Then the woman will say, okay, but I think my child's strength is pilot. Why not let us give him or her a try, the like the opportunity? <laughs> okay, she's not meeting up with that opportunity. Okay, you said broadcaster. broadcaster. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. The mother knows first what a child is going to become. That is why in most cases, before a child, male or female, gets married, the mother will know. Like, the father will not say, ah, so you've known for a long time. I say, ah.